EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the so-called Silicon Valley and Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Today, boy, what a matchup. Two NFL franchises with so much history, so much tradition, getting set to do battle here. As it'll be the Dallas Cowboys taking on the San Francisco 49ers. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. first play and it's second down now as usual the hallmark of a good run defense linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage absolutely nowhere to run there here's second and ten now Prescott and they're not able to hook up there incomplete no coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. Crowd getting in it a bit already. Here's an early third and ten. Here's Prescott. And a throw there going to be incomplete. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. And the Cowboys going to bring on Brian Anger to punt on fourth down. Taken from just outside the 30. They'll net only 35 here following a 43-yard boot, 8-yard return. And out will come the offense as they take over. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line, first and 10 at their 38. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And this will be incomplete physical play on the football there and it's second down have to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion they work again from the 38 on second and 10 Purdy and he'll dump this off to his running back McCaffrey and he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Purdy with it on third and long. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Five yards, and that means they come up short as they're going to have to punt here on the opening drive. Now that's going to be a tough one to explain when they get together to watch the game film, isn't it? I mean, they had the right call, had the out route. He's got to know where the first down sticks are, yet he steps out of bounds that close. Not their best play. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. Yeah, let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands, and maybe the offense will move a little bit Sometimes better. it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. For the, the right play, yeah. That too. <laughs> As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield of man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Prescott now. On the out route, it's Lamb with a grab. 
It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. On third down, it's Prescott. They're able to find the open man. That's complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That one goes for 29 yards on third down. On first and 10, Prescott. Pass complete to Jalen Tober. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Two chunk plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sack back at the 38. Malik Collins busting through to get him for a loss of six. And every game we talk about what are going to be the keys as we go into it. Maybe that's a key for their defense today. Pressure the quarterback and make sure you play a good zone defense behind them and they get their first sack of the contest. Throw is caught by Schoonmaker. Call it a gain of a yard. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that will be incomplete. How about this defense? They came up with a couple of big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. So now on comes the field goal unit, and wow, this is no ordinary try here. This from 54 yards away. And this one is no good. He missed it. And this will remain a scoreless game. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession. See if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got to look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. See if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here too after a good stop. It's a nine yard pickup on the play and that'll make it second and short. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now second and short. What do you think early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Now he's going to get it on the jet sweep and he'll get it down here to the 43. Four yards the pick up first down. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Now this time they'll throw it. Here's Purdy. That's complete. It's Brandon Ayuk. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and it's third and four now. But that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. Purdy now to throw. He's gonna get that 
two is rolling back out of the backfield. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 26. The third down conversion successful. A gain of 11. That's a pretty play there coming out of the backfield. But as that back, you've got to be conscious of making sure you're securing the football. When you get out in the open field, sometimes you get a little loose with it as you're trying to get up ahead of steam. Make sure you keep it close to your body because those defenders are trying to punch it free. He does a nice job there protecting the ball and picking up the first down. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they can be set up with a first and goal. And they'll try the option on first and goal. And they'll take this into the end zone for a San Francisco touchdown. Brock Purdy keeping it himself from five yards out. And the Niners will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. Jake Moody now for the point after. And the 49ers grab a 7-0 lead. So after the made field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. The Cowboys offense heading back out and ready to go again. And they were in field goal range the last time out but couldn't connect. And it's early in the game, so I don't think that the confidence just goes entirely out of, you know, running your kicker back out there. But let's face it, some coaches have a little bit less patience for that than others. Let's see if they call the game differently now in terms of what they do on drives and not try and settle for field goals. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. And able to work about five yards out of this as he's taken down up near the 47. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. On second down, Elliott once more. And very little running room there. He did get a couple up to the 49. A big part of a middle linebacker's job is being able to take on blocks and then go make plays. But the best ones, they have those big guys in front of them playing defensive line to hold blockers off of them and allow them to flow sideline to sideline and make the big hits. Now it's a bootleg with Prescott. He'll get this to Elliott. Just a gain of a couple there. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. A short game that doesn't get him the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. On is the punter, Brian Anger, to kick this one away. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. And this will be out of bounds. Now it's a question of where they'll mark it. And they'll say it crosses at the 11-yard line. And the 49ers getting set to trot out there. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. Purdy from the gun. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. 
I'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one, forcing incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. On second down, McCaffrey. They juked him. Wow, incredible. Miss, miss. And he is out of bounds right around the 34. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Purdy now to throw off the play action. They'll find Ayuk open right side. But he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Up the gut, McCaffrey. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. The 49ers with the football here to begin the second quarter. Second down and a little more than a yard here. As they've got it as we resume action. Second down and right back to McCaffrey. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out the heavy package. Almost like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. Purdy off the play fake. That ball caught. Brandon Ayuk. Touchdown for the Niners. Brandon Ayuk. 25 yards for the touchdown. And the 49ers have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Those are the touchdowns that aren't just scored on Sundays or on Monday night. Those are the ones that are scored during the week because they had that preparation in a great route run. Oh, I love that observation because you don't just roll out on game day and say, okay, go run this route and let's get it done. That means exactly what you said. The practice had to occur beforehand, which led to the timing, which led to the touchdown. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Dallas offense set for this next drive. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive but at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. When you're struggling on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. Elliott on first down, going to get about three before he's taken down. 
Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Here's second and seven. Prescott now from the 50. Out right, he finds Tober. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 40. A good-looking drive for the Cowboys so far. It's a first down. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. But I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. And he's caught by Lamb. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. Now, I know it's an emotional game, Charles. You can't do that. And when you get into your film sessions and you argue your case with your coaches, that's exactly what they say at the end. You just can't do it. It costs your team. So now then, the penalty's got him set up with a first and goal. Up the middle, here's Elliott. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. This is a critical sequence here for this offense. Things really haven't gone their way so far. This could be their chance to get back into it, but they've got to find a way to punch this ball in. Second and goal from inside the five. Prescott to throw it. The quick slant cut. Touchdown! Brandon Cooks from four yards out. And the Cowboys have got it back to within a score. A nice connection there, finding his target, and that'll put six up on the board. Just like they drew it up in their playbook and reiterated it on the sidelines, right? Perfect route, a good throw in the defense. They had no answer for that right there. Aubrey good with a PAT, and that'll make our score 14 to 7. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. And San Francisco gets set to go here. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And, partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Are you going to go in motion right? He'll get it here on the jet sweep. Oh, and this one may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. And tip your cap to Demarcus Lawrence. Nice play defensively. That's the danger, Charles, of running plays like this for your wide receiver. They can hit big or they can be duds. Yeah, you're exactly right about that because if they're forced to try and go around defenders behind the line of scrimmage, sometimes you can give yardage in order to gain it. But in this case, they gave yardage and didn't get it back. And he puts his head down and gets up to the 42 for a gain of about six. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yards to put themselves in a good spot on third down. 
And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Here's Purdy. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Well, we knew this guy wasn't especially fleet of foot, but he tried to conjure up some escapability, but there was no way he was getting away on that one. Now they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. And throwing here, Purdy. He'll get this out wide here to McCaffrey. Just a one-yard loss that time, but that's not what they needed. Now they're dealing with a third and long. I really like the angles that the tacklers came from on that play. They secured inside, took away the cutback. The sideline's there, so you can only go so far outside. And they were able to close in and tackle him for a loss. Yeah, they use your boy over there, the 12th man. Sammy Sideline, right? S Sammy Sideline. You know something? He tackles pretty well, too. He's tougher than an airport stake. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. This is taken at the 15. So holding there on the return, and that'll back him up to start the next drive. Yeah, that's a pretty easy call right there, partner. I think when the officials look in their manual and see the expression, jersey getting pulled, that's a flag coming out every time. So the hold on special teams backs him up all the way inside the 15 to start. Prescott looks to throw on first. And he's taken down. Back at his own seven. Buried by multiple defenders on the drive's first play. And they weren't in zone coverage. They were in man, and each man did his job. And that looked like vintage, old-school coverage, didn't it? Man coverage reminded me of an old Raiders team. They had a Hall of Famer at one corner and a defensive player of the year at the other, and they just locked people down. Westcott's throw pulled in by Lamb. That's a good bounce-back play right there after taking a sack on first down. Didn't quite get it to the marker, but now they're in a much better spot for a third and short yardage call. If you're the offensive coordinator, you like looking at that section a heck of a lot better than trying to figure out third and long. The Cowboys on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. Here it's third and two. Prescott. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They brought in a heavy set on third down, and that usually means running play, but we have seen them throw out of that formation. And sure enough, they snuck the tight end out on that one, wound up hitting him for a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. A handoff left, Elliott, and he'll take this ahead for about four, second down coming up. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle, and that's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. Second and six. Again, it's Elliott. And not much room to operate as they'll get this up only to about the 41. Here is third and five. Here's Prescott. He's got his target. That's complete. Now he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. And maybe that touchdown on the previous drive has re-energized this offense a little bit. They've been kind of sluggish until then. But they're showing signs of life here, and they get good yardage that time and a first down. 
First down, Prescott. The short one there taken in by Ferguson. So just three yards on the completion there, and that'll make it second down. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Second and seven, operating from the 34. Now Prescott. Crossing route complete. Catch made by Cooks. It'll be a gain of five. And now two yards to go on third down. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Prescott on third and two. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a first down here as they get into field goal range as well, down at the 17-yard line. And that's well executed there on third down, and I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw, and they hooked up there for a first down. From the red zone now, Prescott. He'll be hit and taken down at the 21. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Throwing, Prescott. Finding Tolbert here over the middle. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Here's third and ten. Now Prescott. He's sacked back around the 28. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go until halftime. So on fourth down, Prescott off and on his Aubrey for the Cowboy field goal. And this will be a 45-yard attempt. And this one is right down Broadway. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So he missed his first attempt, remember, but this time he gets back on the bike and knocks it home. Man, sometimes that first one can really impact you moving forward. It can just stay with you too long and affect everything else you do during the game. In this case, though, able to shake it off. He's riding high again. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And able to get this out to the 25. And the Niners ready to go on offense for the final time of this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. Credit the tackle there to Jordan Lewis. So we've hit halftime here in Santa Clara with the 49ers out in front. As we send you cross country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime report. It's the 49ers out in front and they will get the football first as well as we are back and started in the second half. 
And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Here comes the 49ers offensive unit as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line, first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Here's second and five now from the 22. Shotgun now with Purdy. Completes it to the tight end, Kettle. And they work this well up field across the 45. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. But when you hit him on the move like that, and he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam, oh boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. Here's Purdy on first and 10. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. Showed the nice footwork and then hit and dropped shy of the 45. From the 46, here's second and three. A handoff, McCaffrey running right. And for a second straight play, that Cowboy defense gets him to the ground behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. And plays like that are exactly what this defense needs here early in the second half to give it a little spark. I think their halftime adjustments, what they talked about, maybe it's just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? But looks like they're ready to go. He'll fire this deep for Ayuk. And this is taken in at the five. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. He had one touchdown earlier, nearly a second one there. Yeah, took a touchdown-saving tackle to keep him out of the end zone after a big play. Perhaps you go right back to him. Don't need the distance, but maybe he can pay things off after a big effort. McCaffrey. Stepping his way into the end zone. It's a touchdown. But just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come and have to report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. Moody good with the extra point. And that makes it a 21-10 game. So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. Cavante Turpin now from his end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Cowboys offense now, they head out for their first possession of the second half. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that'll lead you into bigger errors. Talanoa Hufanga in on the stop. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. Second down and eight.
Looking to throw. Prescott. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Maybe a little frustration starting to creep in. The offensive line hasn't done a great job of protecting him in this game. And there he was, hit again as he threw it. Yeah, another time on his backside. Probably starting to get a little frustrated. Got to keep his composure. Can't let the defense know that they're getting to him. On third down, it's Prescott. That is incomplete. Looks like another empty possession offensively. And you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. Here's Brian Anger now as he's on to punt for Dallas. That's pulled in at the 32. It's a 45-yard punt and eight on the return. And they will take over first and 10. Well, the 49ers settling in for their next drive. The last time out, they had to march almost the full length of the field for their touchdown. So here, much easier, Charles, with this better starting field position. I love your sarcasm, but I love even more your observation because, look, what they did last time out, now with a shorter field, they should have a lot of confidence that they're going to put more points up on the board. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And Kittle going to have a 49ers first down as he'll take this down to the 22-yard line. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. And trying to get it to Samuel, but it's intercepted. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. That sure looked like a nice call by the defense, and they're very cohesive in their coverage. As soon as he cut inside, they broke on the football and met him as the ball got there and forced the incompletion. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Here's Prescott. He'll get this to his running back, Dowdle. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. On to punt now, Anger, as he boots this one away. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Out on the field now, here come the 49ers. But not an ideal way to end their previous drive. They threw the interception, Charles, after they had built up some momentum. They were moving the football, but something to at least build on for this offense as they run back out here. Yeah, you're right about that. Up until that last play, everything was working pretty well for this offense. Gaining chunks of yardage, getting first downs, really making a push for the end zone, and look like they had a nice rhythm going. Now you got to have a short memory here. Don't focus on the interception. Focus on what came before it and get back to it. 
Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. Throwing on second down, it's Purdy. That's caught. It's McCaffrey again. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. And the Cowboys here on third down, bringing in an extra defensive back. Purdy. And he is caught. And he is going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Again, it's Purdy to throw it. Connects with Kittle underneath. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. This one caught by Kittle, and he doesn't quite make it, taking it with an eyelash, dropped at the one. That one goes for 36 yards. Another big play right there, and this is where, as an offense, you can really put the hammer down. You've got a double-digit lead, but those other guys, they've been hanging around. A touchdown here could put this game out of reach, and that's a strong step towards getting And across the goal line, into the end zone, touchdown 49ers. Christian McCaffrey with now his second touchdown of this third quarter. And the Niners are able to stretch out their lead. Boy, we talk a lot about Christian McCaffrey and what he can do in the open field, and it's easy to gloss over how tough he can be to stop near the goal line. And he shows you just how tough he is on that carry as he takes it into the end zone. Moody good with the extra point, and the lead is up to 18 now. So after the made field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. Kevontae Turpin now to return. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs, keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. On play action, Prescott. Short pass taken in by Schoonmaker. Four yards the pickup, first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. 
found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. Short pass taken in by Schoonmaker. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it's second down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. Back now here in Santa Clara. It's the Cowboys in possession of the football, but they trail here as we begin the fourth quarter of play. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Ferguson. Seven yards there and a first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. To the air again, Prescott. And that throw behind his man, he missed him, incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Second and 10. To throw is Prescott. Looking for the out route here, and he's got Cooks. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Prescott now. And the Niners get there and bring him down. Dre Greenlaw getting home on that one. Guys with his talent in the pocket aren't supposed to be getting hit like this. And you know an intense conversation with the offensive line is going to occur after this one. Might not be from him, but the offensive line coach will have plenty to say about this game. Desperation time. Prescott on fourth. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Mike McCarthy took the gamble, didn't pay off. And the Niners take over in terrific field position. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he's going to be down at the 35, gain of seven. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Another run with McCaffrey on second down. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. 73 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners taking care of the football because you're going to tell your quarterback hey no time to be a hero we're not going to throw it here just eat up that clock and if you have the ball they can't score brandon i've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces and, and i know it sounds crazy but they practiced for this back in training camp they knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them trying touchdown for the honors george kittle 27 yards as his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. It seemed like they were so focused elsewhere they forgot about the tight end spot and he's the one that burns them there to make this a three-score game here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. I think there might be a little bit of defensive fatigue from those guys on that side of the ball, partner, because 
They've been spending their time trying to stop him from all angles. This time, the tight end gets him. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. Now a hit and a loose football. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And down inside the red zone at the 19-yard line. Purdy to throw it on first down. And that'll be off the mark too far out in front, and it's incomplete. I think it's fairly safe to call this game over, but they're still trying to bomb it downfield and add to their lead. Almost makes you start to feel for the defense and root for them a little bit, too. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Purdy looking to throw. Throw right side. He's going to be caught by Samuel. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Coming up here, looking for three yards to pick up the first. Purdy on third down. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And the Niners are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. They'll try to run with McCaffrey. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. That didn't just feel like good defense there. That felt like pride, didn't it? He's already gotten into the end zone twice, trying to get there for a third time. No one likes to have the hat trick against them. From the two now, second and goal. Again, McCaffrey. And across the chalk, into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. Christian McCaffrey taking it in from two yards out. And the 49ers start to open this lead even wider here in the fourth. Now Moody for the PAT. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. On the return, this is Turpin. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. The time to get another look at this Cowboys offense. And Charles, we know that this offense is aggressive. We saw that last drive. They went for it on fourth down, didn't get it. Then they give up the touchdown. So now you feel like they really need to respond here. They certainly do, but let's face it. Sometimes when you take that risk, you understand if you fail, a little more onus goes back on your ball club to try and pick themselves back up. Meanwhile, Dax throw pulled in by Lamb. And yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down.
Just need a yard here. Second and one. Prescott from the gun. The short one there taken in by Ferguson. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. Used to be occasional, right? Safety valve. Throw one to him every so often, but mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Under four to go now as they come up on second down. Throwing, Prescott. Out to the flat, that's complete to his running back. Five yards, now it's third and five. Prescott. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, it just seems like all game long there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Now he's going to be out of bounds but not before he takes it inside the 40. Uh, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays that have been successful throughout the game that have worked at the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got done. The short one there taken in by Ferguson. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Now second and five. Here's Prescott. Open man right side, it's Lamb. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Ninth play coming up here on this drive. This is third and a yard. Prescott yet again. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to convert on third and short yardage with a gain of four. Short yardage situation. You have to wonder if they thought that they were just going to run it inside. But you have to be cognizant of the back slipping out of the backfield trying to find some open space. And that's exactly what he does to the tune of a first down. On first and 10, Prescott. It's caught left side by Cooks. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. A good-looking drive for the Cowboys so far. It's a first down. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there, it's going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. From the red zone now, Prescott. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for him, and after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. And again, it's Prescott. And that is caught. Well, they're going to 
see this one to the end. They get a score, but pretty much an exercise in futility right now. Still down big. Well executed there offensively. Defense looked a little confused, but he found his receiver, and that one good for six points. And the payoff we just saw there tells us how many times they ran this play in practice over the past few weeks because they executed that flawlessly right here on game day when the situation arose. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The 49ers ready to set up shop again offensively. Well, they don't really need the points here, Charles, given what we're looking at on the scoreboard. But they've scored on three consecutive possessions, three consecutive drives. And I'm sure that they would like to keep that streak going here and continuing to pour it on. And things have gotten that way in the NFL, haven't they, partner? Because in the old days, people would, you know, they'd get off the gas a little bit, right? But now... People continue to accelerate, but we'll see what they decide to do as they come out for this one. But the way that this game has gone, they've got to be awfully happy with their execution overall. His carries tonight, they're getting up there, so maybe one of those every now and then is understandable. I would agree with that. Understandable every now and then. Sometimes you come back and you fake it to him and go play action, but other times you say, okay, they got him on that one. We'll come back to him in another carry. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. 87 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry. And they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. Well, partner, under the lights in primetime, this offense, they gave the nation quite a show, putting up that many points to come away with what will certainly be a memorable win for them. And, Brandon, I think it's as simple as this. Some players, some teams, they're just meant for the big stage. And when they get a chance to play in this type of atmosphere where all eyes are on them and all the lights are shining brightly, they show up and they show out. So that'll just about 